Welcome to the Classic Game Room Strategic Hyper Instructional Tactics Review of Earth Defense Force 4.1 Level 4 Setting Sun. Let's watch the intro here, this is great. Ah, there's giant spiders invading my city and eating me. Ah! What is happening? Good stuff. This is actually the uh, the, the least exciting mission in the entire game. But the the dialogue and the storytelling are pretty good. So we've we've got a bunch of, of wing divers who all look remarkably similar, trapped in giant mutant alien spider webs. And it's up to you to save them by destroying the uh, the really big spiders. And uh, th this level's actually pretty easy. And it, the game makes it seem like there's this urgent need to save the wing divers from these giant spiders, but really, they'll, they'll be just fine. So take your time. Don't worry about it. They're, they're paid good money to fight these giant spiders. So, anyway, really what you want to do here is just, well, obviously blow up all the big stupid-ass spiders and uh, complete the mission. You can shoot these things from a distance. Um, they take a couple hits, these, these enormous spiders. What you don't want to do is get trapped in their webs. And that's that's where when you play this on Inferno or something, you might be surprised where it's like you're kicking ass in this mission. You're, you're having no problem. You're blowing up these couple spiders. And then one of them gets you and then you die instantly. Uh, because they do tremendous damage. Even on Hardest. Uh, if you're not careful, they will grab you with these huge alien mutant death spider webs. Drag you towards them and then turn you inside out and eat you. It's quite unpleasant. There's not very many weapon drops or item drops in this level, so it's not one that you want to play very often. Which is why it's kind of boring. Uh, if you're playing Wing Diver, fly around, just shoot, shoot them. You can shoot the webs if you want. You, you can accidentally get yourself caught in the web. These big spiders are, are way more interesting in the game later on when they mix when the when the game mixes them up with the giant robots and a lot of the smaller spiders and the ufos like by the end of earth defense force this it, it throws everything but the kitchen sink and if the kitchen sink was some sort of alien space mutant it would also be thrown at you and it, it, it just throws everything at you imaginable by the end of this game see that they, they shoot these huge webs and uh, it's, not, it's not a problem in this mission so much as uh, some of the later ones, but they'll grab you like through buildings and through mountains and stuff. <laughs> they can magically shoot these things through mountains. It's incredible. And then just drag you slowly to your doom. Yeah, just, just blow these things away one at a time and yeah, don't worry about it in this mission. If you want, just skip to the next video. You're not going to offend me, honestly. I'll just start rambling about something else. Trying to think about what my favorite Godzilla movie is. This, this game just reminds me of Godzilla. <laughs> I love the one with Gigan. And, and that's I think that's the one with the Japanese hippies, right? That that's actually a really fun movie. Um Hey, message. And I enjoy the one uh, the second Mecha Godzilla one, I think. One of the more recent ones in the nineties or two thousands. That was such a great good movie. I like a lot of the two thousands ones actually. Like Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Um so I have the Blu-ray with a bunch of the more recent Mothra ones. And they're not as good as Godzilla, but they're still kind of fun for like an occasional late night. I don't know. What, what am I in the mood to watch? I've seen all the Van Damme stuff like a thousand times. Maybe I'll just go watch another Godzilla movie or Mothra. I'll mix it up with Mothra. Giant moths. Why not? Actually, I'm going to put a video up. Maybe it'll be on the internet by the time you watch this. Of this huge-ass caterpillar I saw at a friend's place. Which, which looked exactly like the Mothra things before they hatch, or wherever they are, like the Mothra. Forget what those ones are. You know how there's like Mothra the moth, and then there's like the two larvae thing? It was like the giant larvae thing. It was, it was, it was creepy. It was like the size of these damn spiders here. Except it didn't pose a threat to the Earth. Or at least, at least I hope it didn't. It may, maybe it did, I don't know. I didn't shoot it. I mean, it seemed harmless enough. Anyway, that's the mission. 
just get through this one and you'll probably never want to play it again, to be honest. It's not one of the better ones. The progress of the giant insects exceeds human wisdom. Progress faster than science is impossible, but... Let me down! Let me down! Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.